Alright, let me just stop you there for a second. Here's a question to you, Bond fans. Did you expect or remember Joss's nerdy little girlfriend Dolly having braces? If your answer is yes, then you may have experienced what is apparently called the Mandela Effect, a theory concerning multiple alternate realities. And if you're anything like me, you're probably going, what the hell is this nonsense? Followed by some hysterics. Multiple realities? Shared memories? What is this all about? Alright, you know what, let me just start this thing from the beginning. Beware though, some of this stuff might creep you out a little bit. And I sure as hell ain't gonna make a habit of these types of videos. So anyway, a couple of weeks ago I received a random comment on recapping episode 11, my Moonraker review. The comment was quite simple. Do any of you remember Dolly having braces? I thought it was quite funny as I do always kind of expect her to have braces. And then I'm like, oh right, I, I guess she doesn't have them. I personally can't remember for sure if I have memories of her ever having them, but I do remember that cleavage clear as day though. So I responded to the guy and he gave me this comment back. Well, I do. She had braces. Weirdest thing though, they aren't there anymore. So strange. She had gaudy, ugly silver braces that gleamed in the sun like Jaws' teeth. It was their connecting point. Now the scene makes no sense. She had braces. Now, again, if you're anything like me, your first thought is probably, ah, so it must have been digitally altered then. I've been watching the Bond Blu-rays for a few years now and they could have easily been changed. Well, turns out YouTube has quite a few videos of people remembering these braces and turning in the earliest Moonraker VCR copy to check it out and of course find out she doesn't have braces in that one either. Fans apparently were so baffled by this that they managed to contact Blanche Ravelac, the actress that played Dolly, and she confirmed that she never wore braces and that they were never involved during the making of this film. Well, fair enough, case closed. Well, apparently not quite. This guy was so convinced of his vivid memory of her having braces, he told me this phenomenon was called the Mandela Effect and that I should google this stuff and look it up and unfortunately, I did. So first off though, Mandela Effect, as in Nelson Mandela? Well, yeah, apparently the phenomenon is a theory behind large groups of people all sharing the same vivid memory that never existed before in this reality. This occurrence was named the Mandela Effect because apparently thousands of people in the world remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison during the 1980s, but as we know, that never happened. These people actually believe we made a certain shift between different realities. The theory goes that when that company CERN activated that quantum physics machine a couple of years ago, some weird shit started happening and people apparently have been experiencing these things since. So they remember a certain thing being in a certain way in say reality A and it turns out it's actually different now. Thus they believe they have shifted to say reality B. Whoa this is heavy. And there's plenty of these Mandela effects that people seem to share, some of which really creep me out and others were pretty hilarious. But I don't want to go into that stuff as my channel is just focused on James Bond only. So back to Dolly. I fired up Google and started looking into this stuff and it turns out thousands of people remember this chick having braces. Discussions everywhere of people having vivid memories of this. Some even remember jokes that were made about it. Things got a bit more serious when I saw what kind of proof these people were backing this up with. Apparently they have pointed out that there were some discussions between people on very old forums from back in 2001 where the people were actively discussing Dolly's braces, suggesting this conversation took place before this supposed shift. They also found old websites that have character descriptions of Dolly having braces, while the picture next to it clearly doesn't show that anymore. Some have even pointed out the countless parodies done on this scene. And the most notable one for me was the one where Richard Keel is starring as Jaws, and at the end of the commercial it turns out a chick is wearing braces. Was this meant to parody the scene in Moonraker? Or was this just a funny commercial? Now more fans were so passionate about all this, they started a full on investigation on the subject. One guy has done lots of examining on Dolly's teeth in all kinds of instances in the film. Apparently when she drinks the champagne glass by the end of the film for instance, they claim you can slightly make out the braces as if reality truly got distorted. Great now what do I think personally? Well I like to go for a more rational explanation to all this. Like this explanation from a topic on IMDB. When Jaws meets Dolly, there is something cute and clever about this scene. It's that huge Jaws has found his love in such a tiny girl. 
But in the back of everyone's mind, or maybe talked about later with friends, everybody agrees that it, the scene would have been perfect and more cute and clever had Dolly worn braces. Then years later when you watch the movie again, the scene is approaching where Dolly is walking up to Jaws and you think, oh yeah, I remember this, there is something cute and clever about this scene. Yeah, watch, she's gonna have braces. And then it turns out she doesn't have them. It's just a false memory, folks. Whatever the case is, I personally don't have super strong memories of her ever having braces, but it's definitely remarkable how much people do seem to have this memory, and it's certainly interesting to see how passionate people get about this whole Mandela effect. I mean, you can now even buy your Dolly Head Braces t-shirts. So I thought this was worth a little video. So what are your thoughts on the whole matter? Leave your thoughts in a comment and get some discussion going. Don't get me wrong, I understand the concept of merging timelines and some people being indigenous to certain timelines and others not. Okay, so I don't give Mandela effectors a hard time or anything like that. Now, in the past couple of weeks, I was introduced to the James Bond Moonraker Mandela effect. It blew my socks off. As most of you know, I'm a movie buff and that's why I started my channel. Needless to say, I grew up watching Moonraker. It came out in 1979, only five years before I was born. So by the end of the 80s and the early 90s even, I watched it dozens of times. In the movie, the villain is Jaws, a giant man with metal teeth. And in one particular scene, he meets Dolly and they fall in love instantly. Let's watch the scene real quick. So I remember Dolly having braces, and that's why this scene was so great. When Jaws smiles to reveal a mouthful of metal, Dolly smiles back also to reveal a mouthful of metal, her braces, and that was the reason for the immediate connection. And we can find residue of this fact here at UniversalExports.net. They have full descriptions of all the characters in the movie. For Dolly, it says, in perhaps the strangest love affair of the series, Jaws meets Dolly in Rio after his failed attempt on Bond and Goodhead's lives. The complete opposite of Jaws, Dolly is a short blonde girl with pigtails, glasses, and braces. So there's that. And we have this, a Visa commercial using the actor that played Jaws. Let's watch it. Some mini? Yo, this is yes. Good. I'm gonna get a few things. Well, yes. sign, telling me that this was love at last. So you see, the woman in the commercial smiles to reveal her braces, poking fun at the scene with Dolly. Here's a Twitter poll proving that most people feel like me. Obviously, if it was to keep going, uh, we would probably have most people choosing braces. Dolly did have braces. I have no doubts. I remember things from my childhood better than I do now as an adult. Another very interesting connection comes from the CERN video called We Are Happy at CERN. Shout out to my brother Nicholson 1968 for this. In the video, it shows this guy wearing signs around his neck. One says Bond 1 and the other says Mandela. What's crazy is Bond 1, or the very first James Bond movie, is Casino Royale from 1954, starring Barry Nelson. And Nelson is the first name of Nelson Mandela, which the Mandela effect is named after can't make this stuff up and it's too much for a mere coincidence. 
So I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if this also affects you and if you're either for or against the Mandela effect and why. Oh!